Okay, we're here today to talk about the 2019 Terex LE. Power on this unit is a four stroke, single overhead cam, four valve V twin, liquid cooled. Displacement 783 cc's, bore strokes 85 by 69 millimeter. Compression ratio is 10.7 to 1. Maximum torque is about 47 pounds, foot pounds, at 5500 RPM. Fuel system is a DFI 236 millimeter McCuny throttle bodies. Ignition is a electronic starting system, electric transmission, automatic CVT with centrifugal clutch, get high, low, neutral, and reverse. Final drive is selectable two wheel drive, four wheel drive with locking front differential shaft driven. Engine braking, yes. Overall details, the frame is steel tube, double X reinforcement. Overall length is 118 by 1 inch. Overall width is 61.6 inches. Overall height is 77.8 inches. Curb weight is 1586.9 pounds. That's uh, going to be contingent on fuel, oil, whatever you throw in it. Wheelbase is 85.8 inches. This is the LE model. You have a choice of candy steel furnace orange, which is the one we have, or matri uh, matrix camo gray. <laughs> Taking a look at it on the front end, um, Kawasaki uh, dug into their parts bin and uh, installed a uh, 3,000 pound worn winch and also a half quarter a quarter windshield. That's all I really want. I don't like the full windshields. Um, later on, we're going to shoehorn a 4,500 pound worn axon winch in there, and we have a, a another windshield from uh, PowerMed that we're going to put on there and try out too. Front tires on this are 27 by 9, 14. Rear tires are 27 by 11, 14. And of course, this unit. It's got electric power steering, rack and pinion. Front brakes are dual hydraulic discs with two piston calibers. Rear brakes are industry best sealed oil bath multi-disc. Ground clearance is 11.2 inches. Fuel capacity is 7.9 gallons. You've got a turning radius about 16.7 feet. Front suspension is a double wishbone with Fox podium coilover shocks with a piggyback reserve, adjustable preload, and 24-way compression dampening. And just a side note on this, uh, this bumper comes uh, stock on this unit and it's an uh, awesome bumper. You know, it's just what you need. Any machine they ship out without a bumper on it nowadays, you'd be crazy. Also on our unit, the uh, the roof comes uh, stock on this LE, and let's tilt up, see if we can see a little bit better. Okay, the roof on this has gutters, if you can't see it on there. Uh, when I took this to the car wash, the, uh, the water automatically hit the gutters and didn't come down in your face or in the rear compartment, so... That's a, that's a big winner for me. I've had a lot of different roofs on there, and none of them really have uh, rain gutters. So, awesome, uh, awesome parts from Kawasaki's accessory lineup. And I'm pretty sure you can buy that if you don't have a model with a roof on it. Also, uh, the Warren Winch and all these other accessories uh, you can get through uh, Kawasaki, through their... Uh, dealer network in their accessories division. On the rear here you can see the rear tires are uh, Max's Big Horns 27 by 11 14. You got a cargo bed dimension of 27 6 by 43 3 by 10 4 that's length by width by height. Cargo bed capacity is 600 pounds. Load capacity is 1,109 pounds. Seating capacity 2. Your towing capacity is 
1,300 pounds. I neglect to say on the front that we have four LED lights. On the rear we have two tail lights with stop light. If you look down below you, you can see the Fox Podium shocks. It's got a double wishbone suspension. Fox Podium coilover shocks with piggyback reservoir. Adjustable preload, 24-way compression damping, 8.3 inches on the rear. Pretty well similar to the front. Fuel capacity on this is 7.9 gallons. So uh, we haven't uh, headed out in the trails yet to see uh, what our uh, mileage is going to be. And uh, this is a new unit, so it's going to take a little bit of time to break it in properly. So we'll uh, chime in later on uh, how everything works out that way. If you look at the rear, you have a... Uh, gas assisted shock uh, rear dump bed and uh, the tailgate opens for easy access regress. On the bottom of that you've got a two inch receiver hitch which will come in handy for towing out all your buddies that are stuck. Looking in the rear we have a storage compartment on either side left and right with uh, lids that have seals on them so they should be pretty waterproof and also on the very bottom I don't know if you can see it there's a uh, plug that you can pull out so if you do get water in here if you have ice with your drinks in there you can just pull the plug and drain it so another nice option it's a really nice shot of uh, the rear suspension with the shocks, in my opinion, it's pretty robust. And single lever on either side of the the box allows you the one-handed dump it. Pretty cool function on the uh, quad here or UTV. One-handed opening of the doors, open and close, very nice. Fit and finish on this UTV is top notch. The seats inside on your driver's seat um, is three way adjustable forward and back. And I don't even get a good look at them here, but they're pretty comfy. I really like them. Everybody has sat on this UTV so far has uh, been amazed how comfortable the seats are. Okay, in the interior, you've got, uh, for instrumentation, you've got a multifunction digital meter with speedometer, fuel gauge, clock, hour meter, odometer, dual trip meter, and parking brake indicator. Shifter, you've got reverse, neutral, park, four-wheel drive. you got water temp and low oil pressure indicators also on this uh, instrument cluster. It's small, but it sure, uh, sure does a nice job. To the right, we have the grab handle that helps your passenger stay uh, in a seat, besides having the seat belt on. you got tons of storage. To the very far right, you have a uh, glove box that has tons of room in it. Going to the left a little bit, center, you have lots of uh, in-dash storage. You also have cup holders. Mid-center, you have an emergency brake lever. Right in front of that, you have your shifter. High and low, neutral, reverse. Top of that, by your uh, ignition, you have two wheel drive, four wheel drive, and full lock. To the right of that, you have a uh, 12 volt uh, plug in. You can plug in your GPS or any other kind of instrumentation. Top of that, Kawasaki installed the uh, in out lever for our winch. Over to the left, we have a uh, tilt steering, both light switches, and also the remote control for the winch. Down below you have standard brake and gas pedal. And all in all, it's a pretty nicely laid out uh, interior, and it works very well. The only thing we added extra was a rear view mirror. And, uh, to me, that's a must. 
I like to be able to see uh, where I'm going when I'm backing up and uh, that's the only addition we've done so far to this machine. Okay, a little extra in this. Uh, we have a pretty robust uh, roll bar in this. I'm pretty sure I don't want to test it out, but it's there in case we need it, in case of a rollover. All in all, this is a pretty nice cruiser model. I can picture ourselves going, uh, doing quite a bit of camping with this machine. It's got tons of storage, carry all your gear, uh, two-seater. They make this model in a four-seater too. It just cuts down a little bit more on your uh, available storage space. You can carry two extra passengers. Not much of a difference there. So for me, for two people, perfect machine for going out for the weekend and enjoying the trails. So that concludes my uh, brief walk around of the 2019 Terex LE. And um, I can't wait to get out on the trails. This is about as clean as you're going to see it now, so enjoy it now while you can. Thank you. Thank you, Kawasaki. And uh, we look forward to uh, putting some miles on this machine.